cinnamon. Lacey, well, see, I know I have the secret pocket on my sleeve and that's cool. And then yeah, from Rain City and today our mom is going to be showing you guys how to sell the Mount View hoodie as a crop top. You can purchase this kind of pattern down below because she's going to link the pattern down below if you would like to purchase the pattern. Now let's get sewing. Cool. Bye guys! Bye. Whoa! In this version, I'm going to be sewing the options of the crop top length. So it's just very short and um, it has a one inch hem. So I'll need a back and a front crop top there cut at the crop top length and I'll need and in this I'm also going to do the neckband option so I'll need one neckband and I'm doing short sleeves so this also will get a one inch hem you don't want to use the sleeve cuff on the short sleeve because it'll be super tight so one back one front one neckband and two short sleeves to start we will sew the shoulder seams together so I'm going to take my back and I'm going to lay it right side up and I'm going to take my front and lay it right side together with that uh, back piece and I'm just going to line up these shoulder seams and I'm going to sew from here to here and then right here just this length using a stretch stitch and a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay so my shoulder seams are sewn next I'm going to sew on my short sleeves so I need to find the center line for each of the sleeves so because they're cut on fold to do that all you have to do is fold them in half and then mark that center point i'm using pins but you can make a clip into the seam allowance or you can clip a clip on whatever shows you where that is so you're going to open your shirt up make sure that this seam is towards the back so that way and then lay your sleeve on top, right sides together, lining up your mark and that shoulder seam. And you can either pin it or clip it. I like to use clips for this. And then you're just going to take this corner here and line it up here and sew to here to here. And then take this corner and line it up here and then sew from there to there. So it will look kind of funky when you do it, it'll look something like this as you sew. See how that kind of works itself out? And just walk that around like that. Okay? Okay, so to show you what it looks like to sew the sleeve on, this is the back of my shirt and it's facing up, obviously. And there's that corner. I'm going to line it up just like this. I'm going to lift my foot, I'm going to put it under my foot, just like that, okay? Now, I just sew, gently stretching as needed to get to that uh, middle part. Make sure that that um, shoulder seam is still facing the back, so this is my back, it needs to be facing that way. the side seams we just fold this in half and we're going to unfold that hem that we pressed and we're going to line up the front and the back 
right sides together and we're going to sew from the end of the sleeve all the way down and we're going to repeat and do that on this side remember to unfold your hem and then sew all the way down with the side seam sewn go ahead and turn your hem back up for your sleeves and the bottom of your shirt that one inch and sew it using a stretch stitch uh, so a zigzag or your cover stitch machine okay so with the hem sewn now we want to sew our neckband on and this is our last step so i have my shirt folded in half and i found the center line of my front and my back and i've marked those with pins and now I'm gonna sew my neckband. So I have it folded in half, right sides together. And uh, you can sew it right now, this end right here, or you can fold it one more time and sew it again. Um, not again, but, so you fold it in half and then fold it again and then sew. And that's gonna give you a little bit, uh, not as thick of a seam, but it works either way. You can sew it here like this, or fold again and sew like that. Okay, so with it sewn, I'm just gonna unfold it so that it's right side out. And I'm gonna fold it in half like this, and I'm gonna find the center line. So this is my seam right here, and I'm gonna mark it 180 degrees out. So that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna open my shirt up like this and I'm going to attach my neckband. So my back lines up with my seam. I'll just clip that in place and then my front lines up with my 180 degree out mark. So uh, some people mark their neckbands in four places, but I don't feel it's necessary because if you stretch this evenly, it's gonna fall correctly where it should. So you'll put this in the round and you'll sew, stretching that neck pan to fit. Make sure your shoulder seams are pressed towards the back. Okay, so I have my neck band sewn on and I've pressed the seam down. And at this point, if you're feeling ambitious, you can top stitch all the way around that would look really nice or you can just be done which is what i'm gonna do what's up guys it's aiden and lucy i have this uh i have this thing and uh i have and this is a really cool thing, honey top because um this one's The Mountain View hoodie. Also, it could be made. What's up, guys? It's Anna and Anne. Lucy, and uh, at the last row, we did this, and yeah, it kind of works. And baby! And today, our mom is going to be showing you guys how to sew the crop top. You can purchase this link 